I purchased 12 faulty Game Boy games from eBay. The total cost for these was £20. And in today's video, I want to see, just out of interest, how many I can fix. By the looks of it, I think they're all in Japanese. However, to understand if a game actually works, I'm pretty sure we just plug and play. If the game actually gets to the point of playing, we know it's good. I can honestly say I don't recognize any of these, if I'm honest. This one doesn't even look like a Game Boy game. We've got Hudson Soft. This one says 1994 Coconuts. I think the best way to deal with this is to literally do them one by one and see how we get on. Let's start with slots. I've literally just gone to put this one in the Game Boy and uh, when I pushed down, the plastic snapped and this the actual game cartridge inside doesn't have anything to grip onto it, so it's not going to stay in the device. And then I just had to pull this stuff out of the actual Game Boy, which is the screw for the back housing. Safe to say, I don't think we can uh, we can really recover this game. Maybe if I find a different housing, then I might be able to see if I can get it to work. But for the time being, I'll put this one over to the side. We can see here as well, we've got some traces that have lines cut through them. Game number two. I have no idea what this is, so I don't get any sound from the speaker on this. And we can see the Nintendo logo down here doesn't work, so it's clearly not reading. Trying it again, just to make sure. I mean, that's a little bit clearer. And I got a, uh, I got a speaker sound there. Okay, maybe all this one needs is a little clean. If we unscrew it, pull the case and down. Okay, this doesn't actually look too bad. It looks really, really clean. What about the back? Yeah, just as clean. Nice. Just inspecting the pins here to see how they look. They look a little bit dirty, but the traces that go to the actual pad seem to be all all right. So let's go with a famous bit of isopropyl alcohol, just along here, and a nice clean and see what grub comes off. Yeah, look at that. You can see on the cotton swab. Yeah. What happens is these pads can just oxidize over time, meaning that you can't get a good connection with the game card reader on the Game Boy itself. But you can see that was in need of a clean, definitely. All right, let's see if it works. Plug it in. No, it still doesn't. Try again. No. So it's not just dirty pads by the looks of it. How much voltage do we have in the clock battery? Let's see. So just over three volts, so 3.3 .3 volt battery. So it's not horrendous. Check some more of these legs. These seem a little bit loose to me. I'm not even giving them that much of a, of a shove, you know? And they all seem to be a little bit loose. It's a tough one because they're such small legs, but with the slightest of touch, they are moving there. So I don't know if they are connected. I think it's maybe best we just go around the whole IC, to be honest. What about the legs on here? See, look, these ones are solid. These legs are absolutely solid. I'll just throw this fact in the mix as well. I've never actually worked on Game Boy games, so I have no idea what I'm supposed to expect here. All right, let's just apply some flux around the IC. I don't know if I'm going to have to add solder on here or whether I can just tack, tack it down using the previous solder. I want to be very careful here to not tear the tray. So I didn't put any additional solder on my end then, but I think maybe there might have been a little bit left over from the last bit of work I was doing. So let me just use a little bit of wick there. There we go. Okay. We're just going to do the same all the way around. If this fixes it, I'll be amazed. Bit too much on there again. Look, I think it's excess solder on these pads, if I'm honest. And now we just have to do a real quick clean to make sure that we don't have any burnt flux on the board. IPA and a toothbrush. There we go. But no doubt we're going to have some bridge. I think I can see a bridge already right there. There we go. All right. How are we looking? By doing that, I've created another bridge just here. There we go. Okay. Okay. And okay. Now, I guess the real question is, are they solid compared to what they were? So let's see. Yeah, that's so much better. I'm happy to give this another test just to see if uh, if that's worked. Plug the game in. Ah, still the same. Okay, so I, st I still get volume from the speaker. And that Nintendo logo is exactly the same down here, isn't it? Still really, really bad. So it wasn't any of those little pins. I'm thinking maybe if we put the meter into continuity mode, which is the mode that beeps when we have a complete circuit. So we're looking for a beep on one side, but not both sides. They're all okay. These two down here. Fine. Fine. And I believe there's only two more this one fine and this one seems to be fine okay now from what i can see we only have like three main chips on this we have this big one here which is the biggest we've got this one that i've just gone around and resoldered and then we've got this one here as well all three of them look okay on the face of it but i'm just gonna take some measurements of those and also look at the resistors just to make sure that those values line up as well 
On the back of the Game Boy, I'm just looking for any like corrosion around any of the wires to indicate that there might not be a great connection. But again, this looks pretty sparkly clean. I think I'm going to have to put this one to the side, the first one that we look at. Let's test this one. Okay. I'm pretty sure that means that it can't even see that a game's in the device. Because if I take that out and just power the Game Boy on, that's what we get. So it's not recognizing that there's a game in there. No. Okay. How's this one looking? Oh, maybe has this had a little bit of water damage? Perhaps. Is that liquid here? Because I don't think this would be flux, considering how long this Game Boy game has been around. We definitely have some oxidization there. Looks like perhaps this battery's been replaced before, actually. So maybe that's what that flux is. Why does that cap also look like it's ridiculously out of place? See that? Hanging on by a thread. Okay, well, considering it doesn't even pick up if it's an actual Game Boy game in the Game Boy, do we have a short here on VDD or is it fine? Let's measure. What do we get? We get open lines. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that's okay. Again, I mean, the chips look pretty okay to me. It could be that it's just because these are so heavily oxidized. I know deoxid is meant to be a really, really good thing for these, but I don't, I don't currently have any. So I'm just going with isopropyl alcohol here. How does the back look? Again, if I'm honest with you, absolutely fine well i think the only thing we've done there to try and fix it is to clean it but i wonder sometimes that is enough i can't see any other obvious damage with the game boy game so let's see i've not put the screw back in yet just in case okay it's a nintendo now is this gonna start yes let's go what is it what does that say monsters okay it says monsters it's very much like a pokemon sort of menu this is isn't it obviously i can't really uh, necessarily understand it well level 33 Wow, wait, is this Pokemon? Officially, we'll call this Game Boy Game number three, just for reference. One out of three fixed so far. Moving on, I'm pretty sure this is Bomberman. I think so. I could be wrong completely, so apologies if I am. What happens when we plug this one in? Okay, says Nintendo. Is it going to work? No. So was it just a grey screen? All right. So it recognises the game has gone in, but just nothing. I don't think I've seen that before. Maybe just a little bit scratched up is all it is. Clean with IPA. Is that going to make it work? Can we go two for four? Is that a break in the circuit? No, it's just a bit of dust. Chips themselves look fine. Legs look strong. Solder looks good. All right, another clean. Has that resolved it? Let's see. Is this the magical moment we go two for four? We've not made it any worse. We get the Nintendo logo. Does it boot up? No, it doesn't. Okay, interesting. By the looks of it, the only things that can go wrong on this is the, uh, the two resistors that we have. If they're not resistors, I apologize, but I believe they are. Or these two chips because we don't have any caps or other resistors on the actual board itself. I mean, I still get, like, even on the silver bits that we have, I still get continuity. So they should be okay, even though they're in quite bad condition. Let's measure these resistors. I don't know how to read these resistors, if I'm honest. But I'm sure we could uh, do a bit of Googling to work it out. What reading do we get? 12 mega ohms, 9 mega ohms. Well, I'm sure that's not correct. I think I may have just confirmed that these are indeed capacitors. Uh, shout out to the JDT Discord. But they are uh, they are not shorted, that's for sure. One side of them is ground. The other side is indeed positive. Having a look at the traces now to see if we've got any breaks or anything. If I just test one of them, continuity, for example. Seems to be all right. Interesting one. Okay. Every single leg of the ICs seems solid as well. Can't seem to work it out with this one. As far as I'm aware, the capacitors seem okay, as well as the big chips. And we get continuity on the copper strips. So it looks like we're not going to be able to fix Bomberman, which I'm actually quite upset about, to be honest. Next on the list, we have this one. A little bit of a crack down the side here. Don't have a clue what this is potentially going to be. Let's plug it in and find out what happens. Okay, interesting. So we don't even get the Nintendo part at the bottom on this one. Recognizes there's a game in it though. I think I might know what's wrong with this one. What's happened here? Is that just major burn damage, is it? Wait, can I clean that off? I thought the pads were gone. But it looks like something's actually over them. So I'll just use some IPA. Okay, IPA is not going to be good enough to uh, to get that off. So we go with tweezers. Good old tweezers. Just scrape it. Is that going to resolve it? If so... That'd be awesome. Final quick clean. And uh, and let's check it. Here we go. Slot that in. Give us the good news. There we go. Okay, we have the Nintendo. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yay, All right, so we have another working one. I don't know, is that is that two out of five or is it two out of six? I think it's two out of five. Not bad going. I have no idea what it is. Oh, okay. Just a little bit of a jump. There we go. Down the well. Can we go? No. Okay, it's not Mario, Joe. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my god, I can't. It's a Pidgeotto. Oh, okay. All right. Nonetheless, two out of five. Let's go. This one has seen better days. This is in really, really bad condition. Cracks. I think that bit's bent inwards a little bit as well. Yeah, it is. But let's see if it works or not. My guess would be that it doesn't. But here we are. Turn it on. No. 
how we look at what this one's got loads of stuff okay so we have a we have a save battery here as well again i don't know if that's factory or new we've got those old style that's a cap that's a resistor i think 10k it says lovely solder joints looking okay maybe a little bit of corrosion here can you see that just on those traces there it's a little bit of corrosion something to bear in mind that's for sure we've got another cap there by the looks of it down the bottom it just looks a little bit gunky but again we can clean that up what about the back side here we have slight bits of corrosion on the board but it doesn't look like any of the traces have been eaten by the corrosion you know not yet anyway i think for the time being we go for a clean and see what happens probably majority is going to be uh, give it a clean and see what happens to be honest whilst i'm here let's check this 10k resistor same me putting it back together and giving it another test what do we have do we have 10k yes we do we do have 10k interesting is this cap okay yeah i think it is is that like a bios chip here this eight-legged ic quickly check these pins shall we that chip seems absolutely solid that also seems absolutely solid i don't obviously the battery itself in my head just affects the save game data it doesn't affect the device i'm actually turning on let's just finally check this chip solid enough that's for sure out of interest on this cap that's ground what's this one it's got resistance reading of 72k seems it seems to be absolutely fine check for continuity on a few of these lines see if we have any breaks because in my head if we don't have any breaks a lot of these oh wait a minute okay hold on <gasps> ah i thought that was it but i think it is just gunk hey i think it is i mean it definitely has continuity that's a shame i really thought i found something then all right let's give it a test and see if that cleanup has worked if not there isn't really much else i can look for on this one it's very possible and very common for the actual ICs to blow on these Game Boy games. And as you can imagine, because of the age of the Game Boy games, there's not really much point in replacing those ICs. Moment of truth, can we go three for six? Wish me luck. Ah, still the same. I actually thought it might be a bit different because of the uh, the cleaning aspect. No, it's exactly the same. We just get different versions of Nintendo now. Next we have this one. Lord only knows what it is, but what I can say is that it actually looks in okay condition in comparison to the rest of them. Let's see what happens. Okay, it says Nintendo. Oh, just a black screen on this. Well, I've not seen that error so far, have I? Oh, and now nothing. Okay, all right. So a, a, a nice array of different errors here. Just give the contacts a little bit of a clean inside here first, which is probably what I could have done for the uh, for the others as well. Let's see what happens now. Nintendo, go on in. Okay, there we go. Oh, all right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Don't really know what this one is, if I'm honest. But uh, but we got it we got it working from again a nice little clean just to make sure. Yeah, lovely. Okay, three for seven. Not going too shabby. I'm happy that I was actually managed to just fix one of them. I say fix. Obviously, they've not been the greatest of fixes. Let's move on. This one actually looks pretty cool. Assuming this sign here, which has been on the others as well, is like link gameplay, but almost has that like Tekken sort of art, you know? Let's see what happens with this one. Okay, Nintendo, nothing. Blank screen, try one more time. Blank screen. So it seems there is a common error with these, like a blank screen, for example. That keeps on popping up. And the last blank screen we had was fixed with a little clean, wasn't it? So again, ice prep alcohol and a cotton swab. Let's see if that made any difference at all. Here we go. Nintendo, still get the logo. Nothing. Okay, something to take a look at. Oh, okay. So we have some corrosion here, that's for sure. And there. Wow, wow, wow. Lots of corrosion on this one. Okay, interesting. That would make sense, I think. How's the actual rest of the board looking? We have corrosion here, look on these ICs. So just a nice clean with a toothbrush and some ice prep alcohol. Whilst I'm here, just around here as well. This one doesn't have an internal clock battery, so it's just by the looks of it, a plug and play sort of game. Oh, we have some of the mask is going to go here but we need to get this off to avoid that corrosion further but it looks pretty deep if i'm honest doesn't look to be any massive corrosion through the vias just looks like then it is here some of these have been eaten so let's test and see where we've got continuity and where we don't okay so do we have continuity here on vdd yes we do wait this might be just a bit of a scratch Maybe we won't need to run jumpers on this. This one looks pretty corroded here, but I can see the copper. So I don't know if there is an actual break in the circuit. Let's test this one. So where does that go? It goes under there. But as an example, if I just put a little scratch in the trace just here so we can measure. That way we get this side 
and the other side. So does it go all the way through? It does. So this trace isn't broken. And these ones, again, they look like they've just got corrosion on them. And I might be able to just scrape that away. These ones are completely gone. But again, if I just scrape, I didn't want to take you through the process of scraping every single one and then cleaning it, but I've done that now. So I wonder if, uh, if this is going to work or not. Here we go. Three, two, one. Nintendo logo. We had a uh, white screen, didn't we? And we still get white screen. Let's have a quick check of the solder joints on this game. Whoa! Huh? All right, so that one absolutely jumped, and so did that one. Okay, hold on then. I wasn't expecting that. So these two bottom ones here. Let's try these quickly. A little bit of flux. I'll do these four. They were very, very loose. Okay, it's a lot stronger now. I'm actually assuming that. I should probably check just to make sure. Let's see now. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So we check these ones, we check these ones, and they're the only two chips that are actually on the board. Let's try now and see if that's made a slightest bit of difference. And here we go. Slide it in. And do we get anything? Come on, not a white screen. Yo! Okay, sweet. Takara. Takara, Takara. Let's go. Option. Level. I in it, this is in English. Level. Let's go hard. Exit start single play oh i think it is like a tekken sort of thing it is like a tekken sort of game wow oh okay all right chill out whoa 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 oh, he's comboed me out well, that's the duck there's the jump oh there's the kick a is kick i put it on really hard i shouldn't have done that oh wait was that me i think it was oh wait was that me again it was maximum finish him oh have i been finished oh, the guy's name is joe by the way well i've been seen off oh gg but that's awesome. That's another one fixed. And that was just like a, a completely like white blank screen. So maybe if I go back to the other ones that had the white screen, if I double check, I might be able to find like a little bent pin. But that's wicked and a great game. So, so far, that's four out of eight. We're 50-50 we're success rate. What's going on here then? Hitomi pocket challenge. Oh. It doesn't even fit. Is it? That's not a Game Boy game. Well, I can't even open it with a game bit. People in the comments, can you let me know what? this uh what this is for so i guess we don't count that we're gonna say out of 11 now because that doesn't count next one doesn't have a label here we go oh okay fine just double check all right interesting i think going forward doing it like a clean like this on the outside is probably better just for like initial tests all right how dirty was it yeah wow very dirty let's see has that made the slightest difference no it doesn't look like it is it all right let's take a look inside oh lord above poseidon's ocean this one has seen better days. I can confirm. This looks horrendous, by the way. Yeah, I don't think... I, I, I just want to say maybe this one's a little bit too far gone. Just maybe. Yeah, look at all the vires as well, the traces. We have a lot of bubbling back here. Look, yeah, this is this is done. This one's done, I'm afraid. I don't think there's any, anything we can do. If we maybe spent about three weeks on it, we might actually get somewhere, but... um. This one is like severely water damaged, you know. Look at all of this just flaking off. And uh, the fun thing is that I have to clean this all off my desk. So yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna cool it on that one. We've only got two left. D-I-E-D? -E is that? I don't know. But we have, a, uh, we have a crack. What happens? Oh, okay. So we weren't able to fix the last one that had this error. And it's, it's just not being recognized at all. So I don't know if that's more so like a chip problem. How silly of me to not actually do a clean to start with. Even though these contacts actually look all right, to be honest. Some of these games have very strange smells. This one is like at the back of my throat, you know? Oh, wow. That's, uh, again, looks pretty corroded, I think. But most of that majority will scrape away by the looks of it. But that via doesn't look too healthy. But this one is ground. It's a big ground pad. I don't think these pads will be an issue, though, by the looks of it. Because, again, we have that... Oh, this one's quite bad. We have that error where it's not recognizing that there's actually a game cart in. Let's test some of these pins real quick. What was it? These bottom two, wasn't it? On the other one? Might be in a different IC. To be honest, these are all very, very strong. Yeah, they are. I feel like a lot of your time when you, um, when you look at these Game Boy games is going to be spent checking the legs of ICs, etc. to be honest. I think we feel like that's definitely a common thing from what I've seen in other videos as well. But they look okay. So this side is ground, this side is positive, so we shouldn't 
No, we don't have a short. I've just checked on here as well in diode mode. We get 0 0.4 in voltage drop. So that kind of seems to be okay on the VDD. That wire looks a little bit screwed. Let's check on the back for the wires. Again, they all look, I'm going to say okay. Nothing major that makes me think like there's going to be an issue. I do just want to check continuity on this trace. Do we get a beep? Yeah, we do. So we did get a continuous path. Obviously, these are just very dirty, but I don't think that's going to stop this from actually working. These being dirty, you know. Let's just try again now and see if we get anything different. Here we go. Putting it in. Three, two, one. Nothing. But I tell you what. Wait a minute. Go on then. Oh, it's stuck on here. Try again. Okay. Go on. So it says Nintendo now. I'm pretty sure before it was just a black box, right? Oh, okay, we're getting closer. All right, wait a minute. Let's just go with another really quick clean. In and out a few times. Moment of truth. Okay. Yo! Okay, sweet. Konami. There we, what is that? Like, that's like Kirby. Uh, start. Okay. By the way, playing these Game Boy games in the viewfinder is uh, is rather difficult. Okay, I can't actually read this one, but that's a uh, that's another one fixed. Lovely jubbly. This is our final game, and it looks pretty cool, if you ask me. What happens? Okay, interesting. Little clean, some IPA. Boy, this one's really dirty. Let's try now. Come on. Okay, still nothing. This one has a familiar looking SMD cap. Do we have a short? No, we don't. Okay. We have C2 down here, another cap. Short? No short. This one is in great condition. If I'm honest, it looks really, really nice. These aren't going to be an issue down here. Supposedly, this should be all absolutely fine. It's been in and out a few times, that's for sure. The wires all look okay. So I wonder if it is going to be a leg. That chip's fine. Let's check this one. Oh, that's really wobbly. Okay. Keep her on this fella down here. Whoa. And this one. Okay, sweet. So literally right opposite each other. Look. Bit of flux on both. Let's see if our soldering iron can save the day once more. This one looks like it's hanging off a dear life, so I'm going to add some solder here. Just make that strong. Just confirm. Yeah, much better. Much better. Fun fact, if I, uh, if I do manage to fix this one, it would mean that we fixed more than we haven't. So this is massive. Here we go. Moment of truth. <sighs> Plugging it in. Three two one okay it says nintendo rather than gibberish yo go on then lovely jubbly we are a flying spaceship in space looking at planet earth okay epoch interesting wow 1992 lord above if anyone knows what any of these games are in the comment section please uh please let me know all right wow i i've got a long punching arm is that a longer arm or something what's what's that I think my arm is longer now. I did have one from the start, didn't I? So I have this white case, which is one that I've swapped with one that I can't get working at all. Let's see if we can work our magic one more time just on this one here. To be honest, I think those traces are actually okay. I know it sounds really silly, but I don't think they've been cut. We definitely have some uh, goop on this one, but I think they're all right. Let's quickly check continuity. Yeah, look. So they're not actually cut. Measuring from one, one side of it to the other. They're fine. So I wonder then, after even maybe just a little clean, let's put it in this chassis. Let's do that up and let's see if it works. Here we go. No, definitely not. One more time. No, okay. Back under the scope quick. Okay, only two ICs on this. Um, so I think it's gonna be the obvious thing again, isn't it? Seems to be a common thing. This one loose? No, what about this one on the end? No, it's not, okay. That IC is fine. Let's check this one. Also seem to be okay. All right. Well, there's only two ICs on this. We've got the cap, so I guess we can just confirm if there's a short or not. No, it doesn't seem like it. That's ground. There's not a short here, which again is VCC. I'm just double checking on these traces here. See, so we have continuity, which we do. Just wondering if I can scrape away here, because maybe we're just not getting that, that proper connection, even though we have a continuous path. Because don't forget, we have to rely on the actual Game Boy game reader as well is that cut or is that just no that's all just goop most of it is anyway yes yeah, all just goop and the final moment of truth the verdict is three two one no okay all right i see i see how it is we'll end it on a low then shall we well technically we won in this 
this is the pile that I wasn't able to fix, which without this included is five. And this is our pile that we actually managed to fix. Lovely. So we are six, five technically. So I count that as a massive win. Turns out most of the common issues are either going to be just dirty contacts, or if you've got a soldering iron, just check for those dodgy pins. Resolder them. You don't even need to actually use solder, just a little bit of flux. And that seemed to fix the majority of them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new around to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.